continues his winning ways. 12 from 12 now in a victory over Sean Connell. Next up, we remain in the super middleweight division. It is Frank Chumpa and Tyrone Tongi are ready to get it on. Chumpa with the experience, Tonga with the form line and five years younger. The height and the reach advantage both in favour of Frank Chumper. Is that something you expect Tyrone Tongi to struggle with here, Paul? Well, Tongi has been on a bit of a roll, but uh, Frank Chumper, as you said, has got that experience. I think it's a well-matched fight. It'll be interesting to see Tongi can step it up now. Here comes Frank Chumper. Boxing out of the red corner. Originally, or should I say, still from Somerset in Tasmania. Proudly wearing the Italian flag. The sirens are sounding. The cyclone warning. Because it is the cyclone, Tyrone Tongia. Was born in Sydney. His parents were from PNG. Tyrone's mother was flown there, from there, should I say, to give birth in Sydney because of complications. And as a result, the young man, born in Australia, now lives in Logan in Queensland. And a proud, true blue Aussie. All business inside the ring, too. We last saw him up against Josh Clinshaw at the Mansfield Tavern in a very impressive eight-round performance. Let's go to Rick Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight action continues tonight with the Grange Old School Boxing and Jeff Finnick Promotions presenting our bouts for this evening. Let's now introduce to you a super middleweight bout to be contested over six rounds in the red corner. Our contestant has made the journey up from the Apple Isle of Tasmania to be with us tonight. He has tipped the scales at 75.2 kilograms and is trained by Oscar Harding at the Bernie Boxing Club there in Tasmania, wearing the gold shorts. And with a record that shows us 19 fights for seven wins, it's time to welcome fabulous Frank Champa. His blue corner opponent tonight joins us from Logan in Queensland. A professional boxer by occupation, he has hit the scales at 74.4 kilograms. Black and white shorts are his favourite apparel tonight. He boxes out of the Bethania Boxing Club where trainer Mark Wilson fine-tunes him. As a professional boxer, he has contested 12 bouts, coming out victorious on 10 occasions and recording five of those by way of knockout. Let's make welcome... Tyrone the Cyclone Tongia! Again, Les Fear in charge with the centre in action. Charlie Lucas, Kevin Hogan, Bernie McMahon, your ringside judges, Des Boyd and Gil Jones, your timekeepers. Here we go, it's super middleweight. Once again, the 76.2 kilogram or 12 stone limit. Arnold Thomas. Knock down once you go nearest into the corner and stay there till I tell you to come out. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. Well, business at the stare down. Last out, Second Frank down. Chumper was a split points loss to Luke Maloney. That was November of last year for the Victorian super middleweight title has a distinct height and reach advantage here over Tyrone Tongia. Break! Break! Let him go! Break! Step back! Relatively easy, you would think, to establish game plans here. Chumper's going to want to stay away, use the height, use the reach advantage. It is Chumper in the gold, and Tongia's going to want to plant his head on the chest and wail away. Don't be uh, mistaken by Frank Chumper's record. He can fight, there's no doubt about that. He's been around a long time. I remember actually, Andy, he fought Danny Green all the way back in 2001, quite a few years ago. Also fought Jason Delisle, Porky Lovett, Josh Clenshaw, Benny Crampton, to name a few, in a 